What is going on YouTube? Tactics here. In today's video, I'll be discussing what to expect during this week. So I'm going to have a mini-series, obviously. And the mini-series is going to be Exodia Week. And I will have multiple videos and gameplay and duels, or gameplay duels, whatever you want to call it, of me playing the Exodia deck, or me talking about the Exodia deck, and my opinions towards the Exodia deck, and other things. And, uh... What this video also is going to tell you is what each day is going to have in it. So, on Monday, of course, which is today, I will be introducing Exodia Week. That's basically all I'm doing, and basically I'm just going to briefly summarize what to expect Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very simple. On Tuesday, I will be talking to you guys about my opinion on why to play Exodia and what, what are some of the good cards to side in. Now a side note is, I'm not saying go play this deck every single duel. I'm just saying go play this on Dev Pro or go play this at your locals because chances are people are not prepared for this type of Exodia deck for the most part. On Wednesday I will be talking about why Exodia is a good deck for beginners to start on. Now, the main reason right now is because it's a simple deck. Unlike uh, Ying Zings, or Stellar Knights, or Queer Forts, or uh, Burning Abyss, or Shadal. I mean, it's you guys who are watching this video. Those decks might be nothing to you, but people that are beginners to this game will not understand that when you destroy this card, you can spell some of this card, you can add this card to your hand, then you can go fusion into this card, or you can go XYZ or XE summon into this one, or synchro into this person, or you can use a pendulum summoning to summon this and that. People, Some people, like someone messaged me on on uh, YouTube and told me they're just getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after like 10 years. So obviously, 10 years ago, which was like 2004, almost 2005 now, there was only fusions and rituals. It was a simple time. Things have changed a lot. So, of course, I do believe this Exodia deck is a good deck for beginners to start off on. But, but the thing about this deck is I don't... Like, they'll start winning a lot. But you don't want to uh, just get stuck in this deck because eventually people can destroy this deck pretty easily. On Thursday, which is Turkey Day, so on Thanksgiving, I will be putting some gameplay out of me using the Exodia deck on some top tier decks and some, you know, second or third tier decks. Just for fun, I have some music in the background, about six to eight duels in a few minutes. It's just fun. You can see how the deck works, which prepares for Friday. And Friday, which is, I'm, I'm going to do the deck profile Exodia. Now this deck profile is not going to be a dev pro deck profile, it's going to be the legitimate cards in my hand, just like my Light Sworn deck profiles and, and just like the scrap decks and all the profiles that I've done on this channel. So Friday is going to be a fun day. Then, on Saturday, we'll be having a deluxe edition opening, uh, most likely going to be the Duelist Alliance uh, deluxe edition, just because the next challengers has not come out yet doesn't come out to the fifth and duelist alliance to me is has some pretty sweet cards in it so i'm gonna get another du deluxe edition probably the light swarm version of it then on sunday the day you guys all been waiting for we'll be having some random pack openings which i have never done on this channel probably next challengers and then i will be re revealing the winner of the competition now this competition I've hinted at for the past three weeks, my, my past four to five videos. Now if you guys haven't participated in which most of you guys have not, uh, it's fine. But what the competition is, is um, please tell me what you'd like to see in the near future for this channel. It could be deck profiles, discussion videos, uh, openings, uh, duels, you want me to learn a new deck that I've never learned, I don't know anything. That that's basically it, and you have now till Sunday to tell me that. And now the winner, and the, the way I'm going to choose the winner is by the idea I like the best. And if there's two people who have the same idea, I'm gonna pick the person who thought of it first, and they're gonna win the card. 
it's gonna be a card. It's probably gonna be a, a like maybe, maybe I'll make it uh, four cards. I don't know. It might be like a rare, super rare, ultra rare, secret rare, or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But that is what's gonna happen. So I really hope you enjoy this video and prepare for Tuesday when I start talking about Exodia. Now I this these are my opinions. Uh, you guys can tell me what you guys think about the videos. I know a lot of you guys don't really like Exodia, but for fun, if, if you're playing Exodia and you're just having fun with it, it's actually a very fun deck to play. But once again, I do not recommend playing it all the time. But anyways, I will see you guys later. Peace.